Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang statement of the problem and objective of the study. So, ano ang statement of the problem? So, ang statement of the problem, according to Visa, is used in research work as a claim that outlines the problem addressed by study. So, the statement of the problem briefly addresses the question, what is the problem that the research will address? So, uh, pinag-uusapan dito yung ano yung problema na dapat natin sulbahin, no? i-address, no? solusyonan. So, ito yung statement of the problem. Ang problema na dapat nating solusyonan. So, ano ito? Ito yung statement of the problem. So, may kaibahan ng statement of the problem sa research study. So, ang research study, research problem rather. So, a research problem is a situation that needs a solution and for which there are possible solutions. So, ang research problem mo ay kung ano yung problema na gusto mong solusyonan. At yung statement of the problem naman, ito yung mga problema kung saan um, pinapaliwanag mo kung paano mo ito solusyonan. No? So, ito yung problema. Problema lang. The research problem. So, for example, teenage pregnancy, that is a problem. Then, a statement is how you will, o paano mo i-address no, ang problema. So, i-outline mo ito. So, that is according to VISA. So, according to VISA, views towards statement of the problem. So, a statement of the problem is used in research work as a claim that outlines the problem addressed by study. So, a good research problem should address an existing gap in knowledge in the field and lead to further research. Then, to write a persuasive problem statement, you need to describe the ideal, the reality, the consequences. By the way, Sebisa is from an international um, writer. So, um, ito yung kanyang views towards statement of the problem. So, wag kayong malito pag problem statement and statement of the problem. They are just the same. Magkaparehas lang sila. Um, format for writing a statement of a problem by Visa. So, meron tong part A, B, and C. So, first is the ideal. Next, the reality, the consequences. So, the ideal describes first the desired goal or the ideal situation. Explains how things should be. Next, it describes the condition that prevents the goal state or the value in part A from being achieved or realized at this time. So, it explains how the current situation falls short or of the goal or ideal. And the part C, the consequences, so it identifies the way to propose to improve the current situation and move it closer to the goal or ideal. So, ang halimbawa nito ay ito. So, ito yung example ni Visa sa part A, B, and C ng statement of a problem. Okay? So, ngayon, si Visa is from international. So, dito naman tayo sa atin, no? Sa Philippines. Philippine setting. So, meron um, halimbawa si Olandria, 2015, no? How to write a statement of a problem. So, first, a declarative general statement. So, general muna statement is presented. While the specific statements in interrogative form, so meaning in question form, come next. Then this is followed by the objective of the study which exposes the purposes the research wants to achieve. So, first is general statement muna tayo. Then next to that is the specific questions which, are, which is written in interrogative form. No? So, ito yung halimbawa nang uh, sa Philippine setting sa ginagamit specifically ginagamit sa amin iba-iba kasi no ang statement of problem pwedeng in question form or pwedeng in declarative form so kanina yung kambisa is in declarative so meaning in a statement form ito naman in question form no ito first is general statement so there were some important points that needed understanding the following served as a guide question that lead to meaningful information that would help the teachers who encounter the same problem. So first is, what is the academic performance in, ter in terms of teaching strategy? Next, is there a significant difference of academic performance in mathematics in terms of A, B, and C? No? Then three is, what are the problems of slow learners and their effects to learning? And then number four, what are the programs that will contribute to the effectiveness of teaching strategies on slow Learners. So, ito yung statement of the problem. First is in general statement followed by the question form, no? specific problem in question form. 
Then at ito, kasi maganda ito, kasi um, galing dito sa statement of the problem, is pwede kayong makabuo ng objective. No? Kasunod din yung statement of the problem is objective. So, for example, what is the academic performance in terms of teaching strategy? So, ang magiging objective nito ay ito. No? Determine the Determine the academic performance in terms of teaching strategy. Then, the same kanina, so what is there a significant difference? So, ito yung question form. Ang, ang, ang sagot lang yan ay itong magiging objective ninyo. Then, sa third naman, what are the problems of slow learners and their effects to learning? So, determine the problems of... So, ito yung magiging objective ninyo. And the last one is what are the programs that will contribute... So, ito yung objective ninyo. Determine the programs that will contribute to the effectiveness of teaching strategies on slow learners. So, mas maganda ito kasi from statement of a problem, magiging magsusolution na kayo, gagawa kayo ng solution or the, or the objective from the statement of a problem. So, parang similar lang sila or in, uh, related lang sila. So, I think that's it, no? Um, that's all. If you have questions, just comment below and... Don't forget to subscribe.